Hi, Craig Sigal here, the mental toughness trainer for youth sports and creator of six mental toughness training programs for athletes sold worldwide. The clock is ticking with only five seconds to go and your kid's team is down by two points. The coach puts your child in. You can see and feel that the outcome of the game is all on their shoulders. The team's final winning season is coming down to this one basketball game, to this one final shot. If they win here, the team will finally win the state championship. Lose and their championship dreams are over. The crowd is going crazy. Everyone's on their feet. So what's going on in your kid's head at pressure pack time like this? Do they really want the ball with the game on the line? Or are they freaking out inside, worried about blowing it and embarrassing themselves? Can they step up to the free throw line, calm, loose, focus, while blocking out all the fans and the opponents who are desperately trying to get into their head? Your child's skills and abilities in the court are only as good as their mental skills. With practice, they can learn how to block out those distractions. And they can learn how to relax and perform under pressure. They can focus on what is important and let go of their mistakes. How do they handle their mistakes? Do they quickly bounce back from missed shots? You know, the sign of a true champion is how they deal with those poor performances and are able to confidently put the mistakes behind them, learn from them, and become more powerful, more confident because of it. You know, when their coach yells at them for blowing it, can they separate the coach's rants from their feelings of self-worth? Lots of talented players end up performing way below their potential because they couldn't tolerate making mistakes and they never learn how to let them go. They just beat themselves up, which kills their self-confidence. How about a time when they played out of their mind, effortlessly? In order to play their best, they need to trust themselves and let the game come to them. Too many players, they just try too hard to play well because it's the big game or a scout's watching them and their, their natural skills and talents will only come out if they relax, trust themselves, and let it happen. Practicing the pressure exercise from the last email will help tremendously. You know, young athletes are especially susceptible to this kind of performance anxiety, that pressure, because they have not been exposed and desensitized to many stressful experiences like us adults and professional athletes have. Going through any experience enough times, even if you're scared, eventually it makes it less frightening. Kids haven't had that advantage. Add to that the fact that kids are generally more open, they're more sensitive with their emotions, they haven't learned to think entirely for themselves, wham! You've got a potent mixture for high anxiety before and during competition. <laughs> I can promise you, if your child will commit to strengthening their mental muscles, you will see their confidence skyrocket and they will be able to manage stress and handle setbacks like a champion. You know, I see it as our job as parents and coaches, I've got two teens myself, to really be careful of what we say and do, and make sure we're constantly building confidence instead of tearing it down. Now don't get me wrong, this doesn't mean you need to be sweet, nice, and positive 100% of the time. No, it's not what I'm saying. Kids need to be exposed to difficulty, however, and challenge, so that they develop the ability to bounce back and keep moving toward their goals, even when the failures and the setbacks show up. And we'll be giving you more tips on how to walk that delicate balance between pushing them to excel and allowing them to find their own motivation and brilliance. Click on the graphic for the Mental Toughness Academy to go deeper into this kind of training. I'm Craig Sigal.